Hello and so welcome back everyone. I'm Floth here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as our Jedi Knight Benton Colas on the world of Tatooine. And we are just outside of Outpost Solara. Where we last left off, we were looking into the Shock Drum facility. Uh, it seems it has been moved uh, by a Sith who was leading a, I guess, a task force of Imperials. Now, it seems a shock drum has been activated. It is going to actually destroy Tatooine. But the uh, Sith Lord, who was commanded by Darth Angrel to kill us, and of course destroy Tatooine, had a bit of an um, honourable streak, challenged us to a duel, and in our victory, give us the codes to deactivate the shock drum, as well as perhaps turn himself into the Jedi Council. Ah, we know the Shock Drum's location. It is uh, deep in the Dune Sea. But we're not going to go there just this moment. We're going to spend a little bit of time here in Outpost Solara, seeing how else we can uh, lend our aid. Before we get going, I have this message from Anya Urul. She was uh, one of the slavers captured by the Twin Sons. She was in uh, Hangar 21. Send her some credits as a thank you. And actually this is Lord Praven. Seems he uh, got himself away from Tatooine quite quickly since uh, our, our duel. And seemingly the uh, Jedi Council have taken him in. He's been reborn as a Jedi Padawan. Hmm. He's actually sent us a blue mortal uh, lightsaber crystal. Hmm. Do I like that uh, shade actually? Okay, so we need to uh, get into the Dune Sea, but we need to meet up with uh, the SIS agent Fowler here. Uh, let's see what else is going on. I don't know what to do, Ton. They have me. But you're a hero, Wraith. The supplies you snuck back to us are the only reason we've lasted this long. Don't give up now. It's over, Ton. I can't even protect the ones I love. I'm just a glorified thief, not a hero. Look there, a Jedi. A Jedi would never let their loved ones get kidnapped by a pack of brutal pirates. That's a real hero for you, not like me. Are you saying there are people in danger? Yes, and there's nothing I can do for them. Nothing at all. Pirates think that just because Tatooine is off the beaten path, they can do whatever they want here. They murder, steal, burn. Wraith was the first one to stand up to them. I merely returned what had been stolen. And when the scumbags realized they'd never catch me, they took my loved ones instead. I've no means to pay the ransom, and a rescue mission would be suicidal. Some hero I turned out to be. I'll bring back your loved ones. It's my duty as a Jedi. Oh, perfect. If you help Wraith, we'll never be able to thank you enough. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Just please make sure they don't come to harm. And make those scumbags pay. Okay. Sounds definitely important. Kidnapping of someone's loved one should never be taken lightly. No, I'm not smiling when I say that. Yes, Rafe's loved ones. Nothing could be suspicious about that at all. <laughs> um, bollocks. Ah, okay. Yeah, we'll leave foul to last. I look constable. Manalang yam perlo, am kakalami na yakira lebua. Bami lebik bak manuk, naraka najakini nam yabamiak. 
Then Ilik Baraka, Naya Naram, Kam Kalu Ankamanik. Facing danger is what I do best. I'll handle it. Ripok Nane Kari Maraka, Ankam Jalevik Mem Arik, Manalang Yam Perlo, Anka Kalami, Naya Kira Lebua. Then Ilik Baraka, Naya Naram, Kam Kalu Ankamanik. May the force be with us. Ako nikag, takaya ako nela ka nikag. Then ilik maraka, naya naram, kam kalu ang kamanik. Okay, some sand people are causing a few problems here at the outpost. Uh, perched out on the rocks and they're sniping people when the opportunity presents itself. Um, yeah. We have the mayor here. Tatooine is controlled by the untempered dread. Dun dun dun. Kunta chuta, kaso yali kuli ra, kanki kung. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya, nam kanoya choski nawi. Chobat i kafstuan dile ji hulo kuta. What course of action do you intend to take? Taus Azulas Uval Tung Michakulka Dimaji. Imache Churon Chika Jiliska Chanaga. Who are these guys? Are they going to need rescuing? Mana Matota Jispa Micho. Chonki Faguta Chiho Poda Ji Oto Vokise. Wanta humpa, muri rava pupa ji bampa wula. Okay. So, sand people and a twin sun pirates are being a pain in the ass, it seems, up to the north here. Twin sons have taken over a major mining uh, project. We have some Imperials. The mayor saying he did hire some mercenaries to try and chase off the twin sons, but they haven't been seen for a couple of days. One normal bonus mission just to defeat 40 Twin Sun forces, and a staged bonus mission to defeat 20 of the Twin Suns. Yes, there. Let's offer Kira to go here, scavenge what she can. Oh, from the droid, which has now disappeared. And Rafe's loved ones should be in here somewhere. Stage 1, Stage 2 is to sabotage 4 mining carts.
Inside you find a collection of well-kept toy droids. Apparently, these are Rafe's loved ones. Huh. Ah, yes. Not judging Rafe. But... Hmm, no, I'm judging Rafe. <laughs> Considering we asked if there were people in danger, and he said yes. Yes, there were people in danger. now towards the air uh, actual mine itself Complete happy days. Right. And into the mine we go. I know that the mayor asked us to try and keep some of the uh, mining ore, but... There's quite a few twin sons around. We can't kill them all. So we might as well make sure they don't profit. Down here. Stage three. Disable the twinsome starfighter. Just just a little bit more, a little deeper into the encampment here. As the uh, warehouse we need to be in for the heroic mission. We'll come back there in just a moment. Oh, my force. Here we go. 
doing for uh, conquest points, come to think of it. Oh, we must have, um, at some point, I wonder if it reset or we actually got the 50,000. Oh. Hmm. Apparently the Rakul Plague has broken out on Corellia. That's probably not a good sign. I say, I'm not sure if this reset or we actually achieved and got the uh, bonus goods. And actually, I might be a good way to find out. Um, yeah, since we don't have any of these exotic crafting materials it probably reset itself oh well so be it if it did it did at the end of the world it stop by just going nowhere and the final stage is to defeat the Eclipse Maker, Garthus. And he is just in a house on the upper level. So in this warehouse, we only need to defeat 10 Twin Sun Pirates. didn't actually end up counting there, which is interesting. But, no matter. Clearing out most of this warehouse. If all the air droids aren't going to be uh, counting towards the air completion.
couple more pirates to deal with. Oh Christ, there's two of them here. Um, uh, you know what, sure, why not? Downs to keep ourselves alive, but we're managing without having to switch Akira over to healing. Christ, hello. Didn't see you. Where you been? We've been up and down this warehouse and we never see the patrolling droid for a while. This crate of ore for the mayor. Jitanka Iliska Chananga, Bumpa Kumbakni. Jiliska Chananga, Waning Chikospa, Inigo Dade. Tong me cha kulka domaji. Taos Azalos Uval. I am a Jedi. No one would take your word over mine. Me bonawa twipi. Me bonua twipi dite bok bakra onawanga. Kabatonga. She's a bitch a wonky key. Atacho. Oh. Well, so much for the mercenaries. Boldly unbreakable. We have a champion droid here. This is going to hurt. Maybe I should wait um, a minute. Ah, where's the fun in that? Uh, Kira.
Sharia law. Hmm. The smartest thing to do maybe would have been to wait for uh, <laughs> our uh, damage my, uh, mitigation to actually come on air, uh, come off cooldown. That droid almost killed us. Ah, nothing we can make really make use of. Okay, last thing to do before we head back to Outpost Solara for a moment is to deal with the Eclipse Maker. Achievement Tatooine Eradication. Defeat 5,000 non player opponents while on Tatooine. find out what's in this large security chest. Since we're the only one on the PvP instance, we might as well uh, enjoy its bounty. Companion gift. A resolve stim, which boosts our mastery. Some crafting items. Okay. Hello. Some smuggling data from the from Garthus there. Can we get down here without breaking our legs? Mm. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Good. Really would have died, didn't you? <sighs> I guess they want us to have this companion. Sorry, this companion chest? Companion chest. Hmm. Don't know where I got that from. And another companion gift. More crafting supplies. Right, back to Outpost Solara. We've already spoken to the Mayor at the completion of the heroic mission. So we need to hand over the smuggling data and speak to Rafe with his uh, his loved ones. Oh, did I accidentally sell my... Yes, I accidentally sold my Rakul vaccine. Hmm. Oh, well.
You're back. Did you rescue them? Are my loved ones finally safe? <laughs> Here you go. Not a scratch on them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wraith, you... You can't be serious. This is a joke, right? Right? Wraith? Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry you had to waste your time with this. Uh, have a good one, friend. Take care. Alright, so we need to still deal with the sand people. The constable would like us to gather some of their sniper rifles as proof. But before we do that, might as well pop in. Have to hand it to the SIS. Nobody does nondescript quite like them. Try to appreciate the scenery, Camus. Most people never get to visit a place like this. This is a horrible place. No wonder Zerka built their base in the Dune Sea. No one would ever want to look for it here. They'll adjust. How was your visit to Old Man Gromit? Aside from Lexende burying us alive, it went all right. Too much to hope we'd seen the last of him. Mind if I see what you got for your troubles? These are official Zerka records from Secret Weapons Division 7. Schematics, survey maps. Looks like Gromit came through for us. Don't go anywhere. I think we're gonna need you. All right. We should be able to determine a rough location of the base from these charts. Problem is, the sands have shifted over the last few decades. We'll need some geo readings to determine the facility's exact coordinates. What does taking these readings involve? The data isn't hard to get, in theory. I can give you a field scanner that'll dip into the sand, put us on track. But a lot of this territory is unexplored. Locals talk about sand people communities, crate dragons the size of starships. This situation just couldn't get any better, could it? If you take readings in a couple of places, I can figure out the base location. Meet me back here when you're done. Take it slow and be careful. Great. Remember how we got the uh, shock drums location with the ultrasonic scanners? I think doing the exact same thing again, this time with a different scanner. Imperials, this is not who I want to take on. Wow. So be it. banners is a lawless area. Anyone outside of your traveling party would be now permitted to attack you. Great. Yeah, we have a kind of a small PvP zone between the two sectors of our Junland. Because while we're here, uh, plays on the Empire on the southern stretch. And we both kind of have a road leading into the Dune Sea. There is sand people here. Done. We have a small bonus to be ten members of the Sand People community. Oh, hello. A pile of bones. Hmm. Right. Start 
dealing with the uh, sharpshooters. Forward. Right, uh, let's go take those, uh, these readings to try and locate the Zerka, well, the old Zerka base, which has been buried in the sand. Take some more readings. Okay, hopefully with this last reading, this will be exactly what Fowl is after. Fowl here. The date is coming in. Looks like this will give us what we need, but I'm getting an energy signature not too far from you. Some sort of installation, cloaked from long-range sensors. If you would, head on over and see if there's anything there. It'd just be a glitch in the scanner, but I doubt it. Okay. An energy reading. An old facility. It's not going to be what we're looking for, but we can uh, certainly look into it for Fowler. See what's there. You lightsaber jerk. God damn it, Kira. <laughs> ah, this is why I'm looking forward to getting uh, unremitting. Try and prevent us from being slowed so much. Okay. The cloaked installation. Well, that's right, Fowler didn't spot it until just recently. Or just now, I should say. Find out what's inside. Yeah, 
not long left on this uh, experience booster. Filled with Zerka droids. Delightful. of them. this thing. Which we've now completely disabled. Well and truly disabled. Okay. Back to Elpo Solara once again. Those are uh, Sand Trooper sniper rifles. Inik Maraka, Naya Naram, Kam Kalu Ankamanik. Bim Kanet Nom, Prahanim Karima Nubu, Ripok Nane Kari Maraka, Ankam Jal Levik Mim Arik. There are plenty more sand people out there. This probably isn't over. Nimad Kemen Nimak. Mom Yilevik Bakmanuk. Maraka Naja Kini Nam Yabam Yak. Some relics. None of them better than what we have right now. <laughs> to hand it to the SIS. Nobody does nondescript quite like them. Still a few minutes before those scans are processed. Huh. What about... Hey! Look who made it back! Bad news, Fowler. That reading was a Zerka listening post. Blast! Lexende must have set it up. Now the cyborg freak has our data. Zerka can find their lost base as easily as we can. I take it that means the readings came through. Yeah, machines are sorting through it now, but if Lexende's on the trail... We assumed Zerka came to keep us out of the facility. Maybe we were mistaken. Maybe they want what they left behind. Gromik's files. We saw some things. Yeah. Turns out Zerka didn't come to Tatooine to build or test a device. 
They found it here, underground. An artifact powerful enough to wipe out a planet, just buried in the desert. Disaster struck, and they left it behind. That's what I'm thinking. Camus, has the computer cross-referenced the scans with Gromic schematics? Um, yes. Uh, it looks like the main entrance is a few kilometers away. Uh, what about the door codes? There's a bunch of relay towers around the base. They'll have a mess of data, the codes, along with old communications. Downloading everything from the relay towers will allow you to get into that base and destroy the device. It can't fall into the wrong hands. We don't even know what the device does. Zerka saw it as a doomsday weapon. That's enough. Be careful in the base. In case they left traps, or if Lexende finds you. That'll do, Camus. Time to let professionals finish the job. Okay. Last thing to do is actually try and find this old research facility of Zerkas and whatever they found here on Tatooine. First things first, we need to head over to the final outpost. Here for the Republic on Tatooine. That's where we'll find the decryption tools. Locate and download the data from the relays. And that should give us access to the facility. What we'll do is uh, we'll wind down. Get ourselves over to the final outpost and then we'll uh, take a break. And then when we come back, we'll be exploring the Dune Sea. I see there's various people who uh, want our help in the final outpost, as per the norm. start on the northern side of the Dune Sea, whereas a member of the Empire starts either here or down here. But, as I say, there is a small chance we will actually encounter another player from the other faction. Slim, since we're the only Republic player. But you never know. We'll keep our eyes open. Especially for the relay towers, members of the Empire are also looking into this uh, Circa facility that was abandoned. Okay. Grab the decryption tools since they're right in front of us. And then, yeah, we'll take a break. Lovely. Right, uh, yeah, we'll just park ourselves here. And when we come back, we'll have a chat with the various people here in Outpost, is it for reason? And then we'll uh, both find the Sand Demon's Lair, which is where the Jawas went. And we were meant to be finding the shock drum and also this abandoned circuit facility. Either way, thank you all for joining me. This, of course, has been Anne Wolf playing some more Star Wars The Old Republic. And hopefully, I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye bye now.